Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse, aka BGFH, and I'm back for another VR experience video. I wouldn't necessarily call this a game. There are interactive elements, but I wouldn't call it a game. We are looking at a experience that was originally exclusive to the Oculus Quest but then actually became available for the Oculus Rift, which means I was able to, I'm able to record it. We are looking at Vader Immortal, Star Wars Vader Immortal VR. This was announced eh, a while back. It might have been an uh, Oculus, well, during one of their Oculus keynote or uh, Oculus um, conference last year, they said this was going to be an Oculus Quest exclusive launch title. And I'm probably not going to play all of it. I'm just going to kind of... I'll play through a little bit of it to show you, you know, the atmosphere of it, um, how kind of cool it is. And I will show you a little bit of Darth Vader. Uh, yes, you will get to see him. But um, it, it is a short experience. It is probably... Even if you kind of poke around, it's probably less than an hour. So... I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit of the experience. And um, so they have a story mode, and then they have kind of a free-for-all, sort of a lightsaber. You know, you got those little droid things. Uh, there's like some flying ones or some ones that are on the ground. Um, but you can kind of, you know, you use your lightsaber. It's kind of like when Luke was learning the lightsaber with those little flying droid thingies. But... Um, yeah, so the main menu here has low vision. It's weird because it sort of supports head tracking. You can kind of get in, but then if you if you start getting, you know, like you can go in a little bit, but if you get too close, then it starts pushing it back, which is really obnoxious. And I don't remember that being the case on the quest. So I don't know why the rift is slightly different, but when I go into the pause menu while in gameplay, <clears throat> that menu does have, um, I think, more head tracking, which I can demonstrate shortly. So I don't know where we left off. I'm going to go to chapters here. See my dark glove. Uh, I'm going to tink, and we're going to go into this first thing. Yeah, yeah. Star Wars Vader Immortal VR. I have played this all the way through on the quest. And this is episode one, mind you. This is not a complete story. So they are going to have future chapters. There is your typical in the galaxy far, far away kind of a deal. And we start out in our ship. We better move it, Captain. The huts want their spice back. We gotta jump to hyperspace and we're dead. I like her. Come on, flip the bypass for the hyperdrive. So, I'm in my control here, and we got these switches. I can go shoot, shoot, shoot. There we go. We're All good. All right, hyperdrive controls are active. Make the jump to light speed. She's my droid. Okay, we'll shoot that forward. We're sitting in an awesome spaceship. Going to nice ludicrous like speed. Captain. Gone to plaid. <laughs> oh, yes. that never gets old. I know, right? Well, as soon as we offload these spice crates at Shadow Market, we are sitting pretty. So we kind of seem to be kind of another Han Solo type character here. You know, maybe then you here. can make those uh, repulsor lift upgrades you've been promising me forever. You hmm. know, and forever and ever. You know, it looks like we're going to be in hyperspace for a while here, so feel free to go back and check our loot. You name it. Sky's the limit. All right. So we can turn around now. And uh, I can do that with my analog stick. And I'm going to move on forward here. And uh, I tried to record this earlier. Uh, I think it was like last weekend. But I was having some Oculus Touch issues. Which I just replaced my batteries. And I don't know if there was like a button that got held down on them or what. Because uh, it was glitchy as hell. And I was having all kinds of problems. But it's been... Almost flawless now, so here we got a... Ah, there's our ship. The Windfall. Wasn't she beautiful when we first stole her? 
<laughs> no. parsec on the old girl now, huh? Kind of a miracle she's still carrying us around. Oh, I digress. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just, it's cool being in an, a like, in an actual environment like this. I mean, yeah, you could watch a little animated thing. Oops. Drop my little ship there, but oh well. Let's, uh, let's go over here. Here we got this giant hand of some kind. That looks ah, pretty rad. The hand of Saint Scorpus. All that trouble on Jetta just to steal an artifact that nobody even wanted. I mean, how was I supposed to know the locals considered it cursed? I don't know everything. A little heads up from the hand would have been nice. <laughs> She's such a smart ass. I love it. I love it. Okay, uh, let's go here. And we got this thing, whatever the hell this is. No idea. Junk Peddler said it was some kind of unfair artifact, but I don't know. Who knows? Although, you know what? Let's go along with that. Make the make the Junk Peddler's day. <laughs> okay, we'll head over to our little bunk here. Check out this rad helmet here. And yes, oh, I can put it on look my at head. That. Remember the Vinta Harvest Classic? There we go. I know I do. Because I'd never seen a human able to handle a pod razor before. Nobody there had. Somehow, you did it. You were terrible at it, and we lost a ton of credits, but still, you know what? An accomplishment. <laughs> Small, but important. However, please don't do it again. I gotta say, I like her. Just a wise ass. All right, so take that off. Yeah, put it on. And it's cool. It sounds just like it's going around your head. I mean, it's just a, a neat touch. And if I, like in my peripheral vision, I could even kind of see the the helmet as hey, I kind of put it on. Hey, I need a hand with this. Can you come help me? Yeah, just give me a minute, lady. Or droid, whatever. I'm on it. But I gotta look at some stuff here first. Uh, I wanna look. Oh, scrag. Looks like oh, you took crap. some damage back There's a little there. critter over there. Well, I try to like reroute the power. Why don't you here. go ahead and scan the ship? Okay, so hopefully this should work. There we go. Oh god, it's working so much better. Well, today. looks like the main sensor antenna has been damaged. All right, let's switch to backup. Cool hologram of our ship, though. So we hit the button. Okay, let's and do the next forehead one. Itches. Switching to defense system. There we go. Okay, so we got to scan. We got to turn this knob the other way now. Well, the deflector shields are totally offline. Stand One up more here. Hit and we would have been toast. Let's shut them down until we can get them repaired. Cool looking droid. My buddy here, my second in command. Something's wrong, Captain. Let's go check it out. I like how they just hide that little thing right under the the table there. Okay, we're gonna go back up to our little place here, a little cockpit area. Okay, we got some shit going on here. Alright, we're out of... Galaxy? We're out of light speed. It's impossible. Something's pulled us out of hyperspace, or hyperspace and put us down in the Atreus sector. We're in the outer rim. Well, that can be good. Tie fighters. And just being in here, it's. I know some people said it was that kind of. Look like any Star that I've ever seen. It wasn't really that cool, but I don't know. I, I still, I still enjoy this. This is Admiral Carius of the Galactic Empire. Surrender control of your ship immediately. This is ZOE3, first mate on the Windfall. Zoe to my friends. Uh, there must be some mistake. Admiral, the Windfall is a humble salvage vessel. Anything short of immediate compliance will result in your destruction. My bad, Admiral. <laughs> Sorry about that. Slaving our ship's guidance to your Imperial control now. Ah, oh, Scrag. Well, we didn't do anything that bad. I like her. She's just like, oh yeah, we're criminals, but we're good. Whoa! Whoa, that looks like... That looks like Mustafar. Lucifer's a mining planet. Why are the Imperials taking us there? 
Okay, we're entering the atmosphere. Got a whole bunch of fire right in front, right in front of us. Going into the atmosphere, we're being pulled down, pulled in. Controllers are vibrating like nuts. Breaking through the clouds, and oh, hello, we got a dark, ominous, gray sky, lava. Big old tower in front of us. That's definitely somewhere Vader would hang out. Looks pretty sick. Looks pretty ominous. I got a bad feeling about this, Captain. You and me both. Man, just, I mean, think about when, like, when Star Wars came out originally. Like, it was so futuristic. I mean, yeah, it still is, but, uh, like, now we're actually in it. Like, I'm sitting in the ship in my office chair. And there's just something kind of bad about that. There's something kind of cool about that. And this is really... This is Admiral Carius. Present your ship for inspection. Uh... You know, I'm getting the feeling they're onto us. <laughs> I'll hide the credit ship. You wreck the ship's network. <laughs> we will board your ship by force. I like her. Okay. Do 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 do. We're just a humble uh, thing. We're gonna put our handprint on our scanner here. Uh, nothing to see here. We're good. I'm the captain of the ship. Uh, I'm officially worried, Captain. Open your door. Oh, oh, uh. I gotta stand up to address a my. Uh, Sorry, we're having oh. Oh. Okay. That's one way to enter, I suppose. Hi. A, th a thousand. Oh. Yeah. Don't move, scum. What's that? You want some of this? You've caused us considerable inconvenience, smuggler. Smugglers? Who said we were smugglers? Silence destroyed. Who's smugglers? Take them both to the holding cells. You're a fugly looking dude there, Admiral. Okay, so now we're gonna go into our kind of prison scene. I don't know how really how much longer we're gonna play here, but... My name is Admiral Carius. In a moment, Darth Vader, Lord of this monolith, will give you a task at which you will undoubtedly fail. Oh yeah? A word of advice. Do not anger Vader. I loathe cleaning these cells after interrogation. <laughs> Cooperate, and I promise you a merciful death when he's through with you. Okay. You are not the first candidate to fall under his scrutiny, and you will likely not be the last. This is cool. The coming out of this white elevator. Oh, you see, this is the shadow. Frickin' Lord Vader. One of the coolest villains in ever. Vader is badass. You may wonder why I have brought you here. I'm standing here. You up. are required to perform one simple task. Guy's huge, too. Open this configuration, and I will spare your life. I'm standing face to face with Darth Vader. That there's something cool about that. Do as that. Lord Vader says. Uh, okay, we got a little electronic-y, glowy, metal boxy thing. Okay, we're doing some sort of a By the call. thing. Don't kill me, Vader. Don't do your force uh, choke move on me. I'm cooperating. See. I'm making all kinds of glowy stuff happen. And now there's a weird thing that came out of it. It's glowy. Mine. <laughs> yeah, he just pulls it away. This is the one I've been searching for. Voice ID. Admiral Gable Carius. I will send for you shortly. Yeah. 
man. Hey, you! Come closer, you! Okay. Come here, they mustn't hear us! We're in front of a little you cell here. The and there's our buddy over there, Maybe our first mate, Zoe. Vader's been scouring the galaxy for someone of your bloodline. What bloodline? What are you talking about? Also, please introduce yourself. Who are you? Vilip Fulma, lore master of my cavern clan. Uh-huh. And why should we trust you? Do you want to get out of here? Then listen. Now that Vader's found you, he's in reach of enormous power. He means to conquer death itself. You can, like, lean in and look at him. lives are in danger. Yeah, going. Including your own. Must escape this planet. She's yeah, trying to reach the way ahead on that. Lower master, except I can't reach it. Here, use this to access the main breaker. Wait, you have a hydro spanner? I don't want to ask, but where have you been hiding? <laughs> don't tell. D you know what? I don't want to know. <laughs> That's great. I love it. All right, so now we can turn. We can go over to this little control mabob here. Use our tool. There we go. That sounds promising. I know. Okay. We're gonna rip this off. There we go. Chuck that. And we're gonna pull that off. Rip that off. Okay, we're doing it. Pull these wires out. There we go. Chuck that. Our controls should be behind some wires. Already did, you ding nut. Wow, you did it, Captain. Hell yeah, I Thanks, did. Thanks, um, Philip, Violet, was it? I was technically not listening. The door is activated by voice print. Okay, yeah, can no use... offense, but this is not our first jailbreak. Step aside, please, and keep quiet. I can simulate the Admiral's voice. Voice ID, Admiral Cable Carries. Voice ID, Admiral Cable Carries. Nope. Voice ID, Admiral Cable Carries. There we go. <laughs> this way, hurry. Okay. We'll follow them out to the thing here. This lift will take us to the hangar and your ship, but we need to override the security. Oh, okay. Uh, put the thing in there again. Is that what we're supposed to do? Seems like it. Uh, what the heck? Can I grab any of these knobs or anything? See, I should be able to... Okay, there it goes. It just was a little glitchy. Oh, didn't it finish? Come on. Come on. Perfect. Okay, uh, pull that out. Uh, I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, we're opening up a control thingy. Good, good, good. Uh, hey, my hand is going a little bit AWOL here. I think we may make it. Okay, we turned something. Oh, hey, there we go. Uh oh. Hey, how did you? Hey, stormtrooper, how you doing? Because <laughs> you're so terrible. Like, why do they even bother with them? It's like the worst security system ever. We better move before any more guards arrive. Okay, we're in the elevator. We're moving up. Cool view. Whoa. It's There's a little... the windfall. That's our ship. We gotta find a way down there. Quickly, let's so, move. It's a little darker than it was on the quest. But the fidelity definitely seems a little better. This place will be swarming with troopers in seconds. This is Admiral Karras. All personnel on alert. Prisoners have escaped. Knock down the hangar and secure all exits. Ah, we'll never get out of here. Oh, 
Never get to our ship now! You'll have to find the priestess of my clan. Down in the caverns beneath us. She's your only way off Mustafar now. Take my lord to Odom. It will help her find you. Mm hmm. All right then. I'll hold them off. Find the priestess. Seize your only hope. Uh -huh. Got move. The elevators are going into lockdown. The only route is via these private chambers above us. No telling what's up there. But it can't be worse than this, right? Well, as soon as how things are actually working control-wise better. Uh, we're sitting bloggins in here. We'll have to find another way out. I can't override the controls. Can you try? Okay, we'll try. And holy hell, it's dark in here. I can't hardly see a thing. Come on. Okay. We got that out, and then... Okay, we turn the thing, and then... That's it! The hatch is opening! Oh, okay. Oh, do I gotta do more? Oh, I gotta do more. Hang on. I think. Okay. I see. Come on. There we go. We got this. Okay, there's a ladder up here. Do you see a catch release? Uh... Try pulling the lever. Let's see. Can I do anything more with this? It's so dark, too. The lever on the top. Just grab it and pull. Uh, I'm guessing up here somewhere. Uh, oh, that. Uh, Try pulling the lever. Where is the lever? Whoa, I'm dizzy after doing that. I looked up and is. The lever on the top. Just grab it and pull. Can I? Oh, okay. The maker. Okay. Way out. Follow me. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So now I gotta drop this down, and I can grab. A little bit awkward, but well, I, I guess the only way is up. Grab. I hate heights. Yeah, I know, right? I hear you. I hear you, lady. Huh. Uh oh. Okay. Let me see if I can. Can I grab? How do I get up there? How did I do this before? Because I don't want to fall. Huh. Okay. Here we go. Got another ladder. This is humiliating. If you'd upgraded my repulsor lift module, I wouldn't have to drag myself up like a meat bag. <laughs> okay, uh. Now we got a shimmy. It feels really totally natural, too. That's the cool thing, is like. Okay. Whoa, uh oh. Okay, we got a little bit of. Yeah, it looks like we could climb up here. Okay. Word of advice. Best not to look down. <laughs> okay. We're up. Woohoo! All right. We got this, man. So we're going to move. And what do we got here? I think she, is she supposed to do something? I don't remember. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, I can climb that, okay. Right, from here on out, can we just stick to places that don't require climbing, please? I'd be okay with that. Okay, and there we go. We're up. We're climbing, we're doing it. And what is this? 
That looks promising. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I hate those things. <laughs> A little droid. Okay, I'm playing more than I thought I would. I'm kind of getting sucked in again. Oh, I think this is where we get our lightsaber. Ah, according to the nav route, we can get out through those shutters. Okay, I think I can activate them, but I'm gonna need a minute. Will you cover me? Uh, okay. Yeah, look at what I got. Hell yeah. What did you do? Nothing. Hopefully I'm not close enough or too close to my monitor. Ow. See, I'm terrible at this. Assessment means that training is required. Initializing training program. Level beginner. To block an attack, hold your lightsaber still and at an angle across the path of the enemy strike. Replicate the sequence indicated by the hologram to block the attacks. Uh. Okay, we blocked Correct. it. Once more. Adequate. Okay. Lesson complete. Lesson two. Attacking. After blocking a series of enemy strikes, they become vulnerable. That's when you I just want to know how close I am to my monitor. For a successful strike, swing in a wide, straight arc. Follow the example arc to perform the road strike. Now, change the strike angle as the hologram shows. Good. Once more. Good form. Okay. Lesson complete. Lesson three. Combination attacks. To keep your opponent off guard, you must assume a different angle for each strike. Now strike after blocking these attacks. Okay. Ow. You okay? Kinda. Try again. Block the attacks. Now strike after blocking these attacks. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to try again. Block the attacks. Now strike so she's... after blocking these attacks. So I'm gonna hold it up like this. Huh, I'm not quite sure try how again. to block the attacks. Now strike. I don't know how they want me to these attacks. Try again. Blah blah blah. Block the attacks. Now strike after blocking these attacks. <laughs> Ow! Okay. Try, Try again. again. Right. Block the attacks. Now strike after blocking these attacks. Okay. I blocked you, Toad. You turd. Try again. So I blocked the block first the one. Attacks. Now strike after blocking these attacks. It's always that second one. I'm Try not quite again. sure. Block the attacks. Now strike after blocking these attacks. And it's not going to let me go on, is it? I hurt. Uh, Try again. Block the attacks. I hate you. Now strike after blocking these attacks. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Try again. I got the Block okay. The I got the first two. Now anyway. strike after blocking these attacks. Oh, too high. Okay. Try again. Okay. Block the attacks. Now strike. We'll get this. These attacks. Like I said, it's a little you know, visually impaired. Because, okay. Oh, come on. Try again. Block yeah, the yeah. attacks. <laughs> now strike. I just want to fight stuff. These attacks. I really. Try again. Block the attacks. Now strike after blocking these attacks. Uh, 
try I wonder if I can block the attacks. I wonder if I can now just get in there like if I block. I'm gonna try something. Lesson three complete. Boom. Final lesson. Blaster deflection. Mm. You can deflect blaster fire back to its source. Defend yourself against the training remote. Uh. Cool. That's that's pretty satisfying. Not gonna lie. Swing the lightsaber back towards your opponent. Oh! The blast the fire back towards where it came from. You try to hit it back at them, not just not just back. Like it can bounce off the walls and stuff, but it's not automatic. There we go. Successful. There we Beginner go. Beginner training program. Eat it. Complete. Prepare for combat. Okay. See, it's I don't. Different, yeah. And I want to see, they won't let me, it's like I have to block first. Like, they won't let me take the offense. I'm supposed to be defensive. Eat shit. Ooh, okay, he's down a little low there. Ah. Oh, down low, okay. Did I mention I'm terrible at this? <laughs> I mean, it feels cool when you do it right, but... Oh, okay. Huh. It's kind of cool just to see what kind of patterns they do, too. Just to see, like, it's, it's not... You backed up. Yeah. Well, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> yeah. You'd be dead, man, if you got hit by one of these things. Ah, too low. Okay. Or they were too low. Really? See, it won't let me go on the offensive. They like it's. That's the one thing I don't like. I wish that I could. I wish that I could be. Like I could make my, my own pattern. Like I didn't have to follow what they wanted. Like I could choose. I'm going to be offensive or defensive or. You know, maybe later they'll let me, but in the next chapter or something. Yeah, so... I don't know how they want me to block that. Eat it! Probably one more time. Oh yeah, okay. Oh! Okay. 
Oh, you got it in on me. Come on, really? Ah. How does that not? Okay. They want me to blunt like this a lot of the time. Oh, underhanded, okay. Come on, he, he backs away even if I dodge. Chicken chip. Ah! Last one. Really? It is fun though, just kind of around with the lightsabers because I'm trying to milk this for all I can because this is, like I said, this is short. Okay. I'm actually impressed, Captain. I thought for sure you were dead. Come on, there's no time to celebrate. I found a way out. Yeah, I hope you're not afraid of heights. Cool atmosphere, though. Yikes! That's a really long drop! You think? Lady? Droid? Person? Okay. Well, there's a ventilation shaft just above us, which... which means we have to go even higher. So... great news for me. Okay, grab that, grab that, oh, oh dear, oh god. Now grab my hand. Uh, okay, hang on, let me grab this. Come here, uh, hey. Come on, okay. Whew, there we go. Look at all that lava. Look at that. that look at that. Kind of yeah, in a this horrific as way. As nightmare hellscapes go. Yeah, what she said. Well, there should be a way to get this open. Okay. Uh. Let's have a gander. See if you can find a way to open that vent. Uh, I wonder... Can you release the vent cover with the lever? I wanna lay- I wanna slice through stuff, man. Okay. What is that? A little light thing there? Okay, we're just gonna look around here. Probably over here. Go ahead and guess. Hey, Captain. You think that lever will open it? Smart ass. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's where we need to have fun. Slice through some pipes. Okay. Oh wow, okay. 
in. So when I played this on the Quest, I actually got stuck there. It wouldn't register, it wouldn't let me cut that. Okay, let's holster my weapon. I hear people chattering over here. Oh, eavesdrop. Hey, what's up? And you believe the final component of the Eon engine is with you? You can lean down, too. I have no doubt. Vader! You found a descendant of Lady Kovax, then. One of the last it would see. Unlike the others, this one activated the artifact. Corvax? Is that what Violet meant about your bloodline? Okay. Okay, I lied. Looks like we're probably going to end up playing through this whole damn thing. <laughs> Ooh, we get to go down a ladder this time. Neat. Okay. Um, let's see. Can I get close enough? Okay. There, now I can pull it back. I was afraid I was going to get too close to the monitor. I wouldn't be able to do this. We're climbing down the ladder. It is hella dark. Uh, okay, we're down. With the candidate's help, you will this? be able to unlock Lady Kovacs' sanctum. You will gain mastery over death itself. Resident. What you see is finally within your grasp. Leave me now. What you doing there, Vader? We're going this way. Or well, they won't let us. Okay. Pardon me. Something wonderful has happened. Oh, I don't think I watched. I don't know if I remember this. I'm back. Uh. Okay, I forgot about that part. I was not programmed for this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna follow her. Everything about this place feels wrong. We need to get out of here. Yeah, about that. Down here! Hurry, get in! Now, now, now. Patience! Going down again. So we went up, only to go down. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, we got it. We're good. We're in a, another elevator, like we were in earlier. Okay, what did Violet say again? You'll have to fight the priestess of my clan. Down in the caverns beneath us, she's your only way off Mustafar now. Take my lore totem. It will help her find you. Cavern, priestess, totem. <laughs> Is there any version of this plan that doesn't end up with us being dead? <laughs> Captain? Whatever happens, it's been a good run. <laughs> Got the caverns. How are we gonna find the priestess? Well, you got that totem thing, right? Oh, oh there's a skiff. Hey, robot. I 
I think I can just hotwire this thing. Come over and cover me. Okay. You're firing at near the elevator. Spread out, focus fire. Okay. It's a little dark, but. Whew, working on it. No shit, lady. The backup, oh yeah. I like the fact that, like, you can't die, so it's not frustrating. But once it is, yes, it explodes. Weapons ready, cut them down. Ooh, I think we got another one. Hell yeah. We're good. Okay, we're moving. We got our skip. Oh, okay. We're gonna deflect those. Zer They're out of range. Requesting orders. Okay. That was fun. Incredible. It looks like an ancient castle. These ruins are definitely pre-republic. At least a few thousand cycles old. We're nearing the end of it here. That's what if the I remember correctly. Are I wonder what Vader is after. We're moving ever so slowly. My guess is that's what we'll find, Christus. There. And dock. Almost. Oh, this must be it. That guy looks like the welcoming committee. Huh. I hope this priestess shows up. Okay, I guess we're going forward. And I don't know if there are any like side paths or secrets that you can find, like extra lore and stuff. I'm not sure. Hey, the totem's glowing. That creepy guy said you're a descendant of Lady Corvax. Okay. Which means what exactly? That must be her. I bet this was her castle. Okay, I guess we're moving down this dark castle area. Uh, after you, Captain. Why don't you go first? Oh, I see how it is. I'm just doing some teleport controls here. That's what we've been doing this whole time. That looks important. By the original light. Ha. Ah, it appears Vader has finally found his candidate. Um, hi. Are <clears throat> you the priestess? Violet said we should give you this, that you'd help us escape. We don't have much time. I must help you understand. Uh, okay, glowy light. Once. Our world Mustafa was green, filled yeah, with cool. life. Lady Kovax abided here with her husband, Sardorin, living in peace with my people. The bright star was our most sacred object. Its energy nourished our planet. Come on. One day. Our world was attacked. And now it's all not green, it's all burnt all to hell. Some bad stuff going on here. OK. 
Okay. Lady Kovac's husband fell in battle. She stole the bride's star, believing it would restore her husband to life. She created the Eon End, a terrible machine. It reduced our world to the wasteland you see now. Okay. The bright star is hidden beneath us, somewhere within Lady Kovac's sanctum. Vader has the only key, but he needs a descendant of the ladies to wield it. Vader is here. Help him retrieve the bright star. Our best chance is to follow and take it from him. In our hands, the bright star could heal our planet. Wait, retrieve the bright star? Oh, hold uh, on, that wasn't the deal. No, 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 Circumstances no. have changed. Who are you? No, Destiny Violet has Violet bound us together planet. now, and our future is in your hands. Okay, a couple of people walked Fate off. has chosen you. Oh, great. Thanks, thanks for stopping by. Because you know what I wanted? I wanted a lot of fate. I thought that would be fun, you know? Some, <laughs> some future. Oh, my. Uh-oh. Lord, Lord Vader, it wasn't our fault. The Mustafarian forced Vader's us to Vader's pissed. Do not insult me with excuses. Damn. You know what I seek. Take the artifact key. Open the sanctum lock now. Hey. Yes, Vader, your lordship. I see Vader fighting over the- oh dear. Okay, hold on. Okay, ow, that hurt. There we go, eat shit. Okay. Uh... Okay, we got this guy. Okay, oh god! Damn it, okay, it's... We're losing tracking, so... I, I, I don't even know what direction I'm facing. In my room. Okay, I think I sort of knew. Let me see. Let me face. Uh oh. Uh. Uh oh. We're losing. We're getting a big old play button arrow thing here, so. It sucks that we're getting this. See, I didn't have this with the quest because it's 4360 tracking. Yeah, that guy's dead. Uh, can't see. Fucking arrow. There am I. Uh, I, I literally cannot see anything because it's. I'm looking at a grid and an arrow. Oh, this sucks. This is like, I mean, you should be seeing all kinds of cool stuff happening right now. And I can't... Okay, I guess we face this way. For... What the hell? Okay. Okay. 
I'm totally not thinking the right way, so hopefully this... So it's telling me the arrows, but... And where did my lightsaber go? Okay, I guess that's it. Well, you have acquitted yourself well. I will not be denied. You will help seize the Bright Star. I sense a latent force ability within you. Follow me and I will instruct you in its ways. That's cool. You will need the Force, if you are to survive the path ahead. It's so dark. I don't remember it being this dark in the quest. I can't move. I can't do anything. That's it. That is it. Vader Immortal. There we go. Whew. All right. Well... I don't know what that's going to look like for you guys, but that I was kind of flailing around at that last battle because it was literally showing me just like an arrow, and I didn't want to turn that far around because the uh, otherwise then my front sensors wouldn't track. So I'll have to go back and look at the video to see what you guys saw, but. What I thought was going to be a, just a short... I was going to end it basically after you got out of your cell. You know, and then you went out... That, that other prisoner took off. <sighs> but then the controls were working really well. And I knew that the experience was pretty short. So I'm like, ah, let's try to play through the whole thing. Had a little bit of trouble trying to discern, like, you know, how I was supposed to block that kind of a thing but like I said I'm glad they don't punish you like you know yeah okay it's like you get hurt but it's not like you know oh you die and then you got to go five ten minutes back because it's something they you know they want you to experience I mean I know some play players would complain and see that as a bad thing but as far as like an accessibility thing you know again judge again real like just like real life judging depth perception judging angles you know knowing what exactly to do yeah I mean lightsabers are cool but um, you know just having that little bit of trouble uh, especially during the training part and uh, <laughs> I would have done better at that final part like I said when you, it's cool because you could fight the guys and then you're looking over and you're seeing Darth Vader fighting his own battle alongside you which is kind of cool just the fact that you're fighting you know alongside one of the coolest characters ever, in my opinion. I mean, Vader was like, I remember seeing him as a little kid. The first time I saw Star Wars, I'm like, dude, that energy sword and that freaking cape and suit and like James Earl Jones' voice mixed with that crazy, like mechanical filter thing, the breathing. I mean, that's just a cool dude. You know, I mean, he's badass. But uh, that is Vader, immortal. Um, turns out, uh, yeah, and in fact, we played through the whole dang thing. And I missed one or two little things. Like I said, there was, I teleported too far in the ship early on. There was like a little critter that kind of spit at you. And she's like, hey, don't do that. But uh, yeah, you know, for an episode one, I'm I'm curious because, like I said, if you're able to go alongside Darth Vader in the second episode, whenever that comes out, sounds kind of neat. And I do like I do like Zoe. I do like Zoe. She's a she's kind of got my sort of you know dr kind of a dry wit. I, I like that. Kind of a little bitter, a little sarcastic, like, oh yeah, that's not it at all. <laughs> uh, I, I, I like I like her personality, it's pretty good. But uh, yeah, like I said, I you could call it a game, I suppose, but 
I would venture to call it more of an interactive experience. Either way, it is pretty cool. And just to say that, like, you stood face to face with Darth Vader. You fought alongside him a little bit. Um, I'm sure this, I'm, I'm, if I had to guess, I'm, this is probably going to be like a trilogy, as most things are these days. Um, my guess is later on, you're going to have to, of course, duel against Vader. You know that's inevitable. You know that's going to be a thing. But as we wrap up the credits here, uh, that's where we're going to call it. And I hope to hell this recorded. If it didn't, I'm going to be very, very angry. But um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed playing it. And the, the funny thing is, like I said, there are aspects of it that I like better on the Rift. You know, it's a little higher fidelity, uh, that kind of a thing. But honestly, the quest was pretty cool because I didn't have to worry about tracking. I didn't have to worry about 360 degree movement. I didn't have to... Um, the tracking on it generally worked pretty well. The only real thing that I had a problem with is during that one section where we were um, going through that tunnel and I was using the lightsaber to cut apart those pipes. Um, I knew exactly what I had to do. I had actually gotten rid of a couple of them. And then I was moving forward and it just would not register. It would not let me cut them. So I actually had to... Uh, had, to, had to go back out, restart the thing, and then it started to do at the checkpoint. And when I got it the second time, it worked fine. So, anyway, that is Star Wars Vader Immortal. And uh, it's on the Oculus Rift and the Oculus Quest. And if I remember correctly, it is cross-platform or cross-buy. I bought it for the Quest, and I think it just appeared. It's like, hey, you can get this on the Rift now. I don't think I had to buy, I, I could be wrong, but I don't think I had to buy it again. Um, if I am, I, if I'm wrong about that, I apologize, but I thought it, because there's been some games that have been that way and some that haven't, and I thought this one might be. So, at any rate, it's, it's short, but I mean, it's a very cool experience, and especially for Star, anyone uh, who's a fan of Star Wars, uh, this could be a very friendly, very cool first VR experience for somebody. Uh, this could work pretty well because it's got a nice little story. You know, there's, they're not trying to hurry you along. Um, you know, there's no real fail state. And it's Star Wars. It's Darth Vader. How cool is that? So anyway, wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, Mixer.com slash BGFH, and IllegallyCited.com. And until next time, embrace the dark side. Sorry. Uh, no, until next time, we'll chat with you guys again later.